Hi, thanks for watching Family Encore, and today we have the Maxi Cozy Adora stroller. This stroller is really awesome because it has three different modes and no attachments, so you have to you don't have to carry any attachments around. It changes around from parent facing to forward facing to carriage mode, and I'm gonna demonstrate all those different modes to you guys. The stroller weighs about 26 pounds. It's not one of your lightest strollers, but it is a full frame stroller. Um, the seat from the bottom of the seat to the top is about 16 inches. And from the bottom of the seat to the top of the canopy is about 21 inches. It has the cozy dozy infant cushion and it has a five point harness, as you can see here. Um, the fabric is fully machine washable and it's easy off. Even the padding is machine and dryer safe. It has the 360 wheels on the front and the 10 inch tires on the back. It comes with a attachable bumper bar. As you can see here, it has a huge basket on the back. This is my favorite part of the stroller. As you can see, this is a really big stroller basket. This part is meant to fold down if you need to put a larger item. It has the one foot easy brake system. It reclines in three different positions. It's semi-recline and then a full recline. As you can see. That's how flat it reclines. It also has a pretty nice canopy. I really like the um, quality of it. And it has a big peekaboo window netted in the back that it can cover easily with the fabric. It comes with adjustable handlebars. It has a parent accessory pack on the back and a cup holder on this side. The cup holder tends to fall off really easy, so if you want another type of cup holder that you can attach to the handlebars, that would probably be better off because my drinks tend to fall a lot with this one. Um, let me show you guys the different positions that the stroller turns around in. Um, this, of course, is the forward facing position here. And then I'm going to show you how to change it around to the parent mode. Here's the parent facing mode. What I did is it was real simple. There's these two little buttons on each side. I just squeezed them and picked it up like this and just turned it around. They don't recommend you do it with the child in the seat. And then let me show you how to do the carriage mode. What you do is you're going to return it to a full recline like this. You're going to pull up the feet. Also, I forgot to mention that the footrest is adjustable to in two positions. It, it has the down mode and then the reclining mode. So then underneath here is little side walls with buttons on them that fold out and you just pull them from underneath the seat like this and then you snap them together Okay, so this is the carriage mode, as you can see. The sidewalls are a bit flimsy, and they're not as tall or deep as most carriages that would come as an attachment. So I would recommend, for my opinion, to keep your baby in the straps. I, I wouldn't feel safe 
with these protecting the, the baby. If they tend to scoot down, they could scoot off the stroller or, um, you, you know, you just, it don't, it's not real sturdy. But it's really nice to have if you just want a nice cozy area for your baby. I'm going to demonstrate to you how it goes into a mode where it carries the Maxi Cozy Miko carriage infant carriers. Okay, so what I did is I removed the seat and then I took these attachments here and you just snap them in. Real simple like that. And then you can place the infant carrier on top of these they will lock into these attachments and then it becomes a frame for the infant carriers so hope this review really helped you guys in choosing a stroller for your baby and please don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching